Hello and welcome to another day of NTV News. The new ambassador of the Republic China Taiwan, Mr. Chin Fa Chao, presented his letter of credence to His Excellency Baron Wanga. The presentation took place at the President's office this morning on Tuesday. For more on the credential ceremony, his reporter Paulina Steven. Mr. Chin Fa Chao arrived on Sunday 6 July to hold his post as the new ambassador of the Republic of China Taiwan to the Republic of Nauru Embassy. This Tuesday morning, Ambassador Chao was escorted to the government office for the credential ceremony. Ambassador Chao was firstly received by the Secretary for Defat Michael Arroy and was then escorted for the playing of the two nations national anthem followed by the God of Honor inspection. His Excellency Ambassador Chao was then led to the President's office for the official handover of his letter of credence. Ambassador Chao was introduced and after he then said a few words. The Republic of China and the Republic of Nauru enjoy cordial friendship and close cooperation in a wide array of fields. The Republic of Nauru has been our staunch ally over the years, which has been shown in the continuous support your country has lent, albeit for meaningful participation in international organizations. I would like to express on behalf of my government our great gratitude for the statement Your Excellency made during the General Assembly, during the general debate of the 68th session of the UN General Assembly, in support of our meaningful participation in the specialized agencies of the United Nations. His Excellency President Baron Wanga then received the Ambassador's credence and he also said a few words. I am extremely delighted to accept your letter of credence and the letter of recall of your predecessor and I would greatly appreciate if you would allow me to convey through you my personal warm greetings to my colleague and good friend, His Excellency President Ma Yang Zhou. Please also convey to him my very best wishes for His Excellency's continued good health and well-being and for peace and prosperity of the government and people of Taiwan. Your Excellency, I look forward to working closely with you during your term as Ambassador. Ambassador Chao will also pay courtesy calls to the Honorable Shadlock Bernicke, including the Honorable Charmaine Scotsi, Speaker of Parliament Ludwig Scotsi, and Chief Secretary Bernard Grunla. Again, Mr. Chao will now post as the new ambassador of the Taiwan Embassy to the Republic of Nauru for a term of three years. Belina Steven, NTV News. <laughs> Thank <laughs> 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 I look forward to working with you, and I know that you will surely enjoy the Your Excellency, to Nauru and Taiwan's strong relationship well into the future. Cheers. 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 First of all, I would like to extend my heartfelt appreciation for the goodwill and uh, uh, friendship of the people and the government of Nauru uh, uh, conveyed by Your Excellency to me and my government. As Your Excellency uh, has noted, 
that the Republic of Taiwan, uh, the, the Republic of China, and the Republic of Nauru uh, enjoy a sustainable and uh, cultural ties. Uh, our cooperation in various fields and uh, a mutual visit by uh, the high level officials has increased in the past few years. Uh, that's a give us a very strong test to the strength of our friendship. And now I'm serving as the ambassador of the Department of China to Nauru. I'm uh, confidently, and I also hope that uh, our already solid uh, relations and uh, friendly uh, cooperation would uh, grow ever stronger. And finally, uh, please allow me to uh, propose to uh, 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 prosperity of and uh, a long lasting friendship between the Republic of uh, China. to do a good job. 
and fulfill my responsibility. The Republic of China, Taiwan, and the Republic of Nauru. Your Excellency Chow, and your good lady, Mr. Speaker, your good lady, and uh, cabinet ministers, um, and members of parliament, and your good ladies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, I don't intend to say much this evening except just to say how happy we are that um, you have come to our shore and uh, accepted the, the, the job. It's quite a difficult job being an ambassador on the roof. And however, there are so many things that you can do to keep your mind off the job, the tough job, and uh, enjoy your stay while, while you're here with us. Um, I will say just briefly how happy we are that um, Taiwan remained very close to us and in times of our hardship and in times of trouble, as, all, as friends are always they come in when others leave. And Taiwan came in at the right time. <laughs> Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> 